Good morning, Elevate Church. Welcome to day 13 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. I want to take advantage of this short time with you to reflect on what it means to be kingdom-minded. Matthew 4.17 reads, From that time, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus started his ministry by telling people to repent or to change their minds. At this point in the scripture in Jesus' time, his cousin, John the Baptizer, was already preaching the same exact message. Today, I want to focus on a key word that is repeated many times in the Bible, the word repent. You see, the initial qualification to belong to the kingdom of God is to repent. The Greek word for repentance used in the New Testament is metanoia, which means a change of mind. What Jesus is saying is that if anyone is interested in joining him in his kingdom, he or she must first change his or her mind. Change my mind on what exactly? Well, I'm glad you ask. Well, here's the idea of kingdom-mindedness comes in handy. When we study the teachings of Jesus, we will realize that the kingdom of God is a major theme in his ministry. It is said the realm where Jesus rules and to which those who trust him belong. To be kingdom-minded is to think like Jesus, not just while we're in church or we're doing our devotions, but also when we're watching the news or in social media, while we're eating out or doing grocery, and yes, while we're at work too. You may say to yourself, that's difficult. You don't know my boss, Chris. You don't live near my annoying neighbor. I get it. It's definitely not easy. That's why Jesus says, small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only few finds it. Dying to self is not an easy task. I'm sure many of you will agree that fasting is definitely not easy. Because while the world and all the desire of the flesh is going one way, Jesus and His kingdom is going the other way. Jesus showed us that to resist temptation and to endure are necessary parts of becoming His disciple. At the same time, He exemplified the value and importance of prayer and fasting. It's as if Jesus is saying, it's not supposed to be easy if you choose to follow me, but it's worth it and I will help you. The Apostle Paul reminds us that we already have the mind of Christ. In order to live a kingdom life, we must start by adopting a kingdom mindset or the mind of Christ. To be kingdom minded is to choose Jesus, trust Jesus and obey Jesus at all costs. So I urge you today to consider your ways, reflect, and if necessary, repent, for the kingdom of God is near. Have a blessed day.